Hello, hello, this is John Berto and this is the HVAC is my channel. Today we're going to be talking about introduction to REST check to comply with the International Energy Conservation Code. All right, so let's get into it. So what is REST check? Okay, so REST check is actually a software that is available by on the website or on the desktop version. So what I'm going to do in here is put REST check. See, all right, REST check rest check okay rest check because we also have com check com check okay so the rest check is mainly for residential so i'm going to put in here residential okay and then com check is going to be for commercial this is for commercial commercial projects all right, but you you might be wondering why do we need to use rest check or why do we not why do we need to use com check because we need to comply with code. In my other videos, you've seen like depending on the location, especially in the U.S., we need to comply with codes. But with but, but which code do we need to comply with? In this case, we're trying to comply with. Oh, I'm gonna put this in pink with the IECC, right? I E C C. That's the very, very important. So what is I E C C? So I'm gonna put it in here, since this is the HVAC is my channel. Everything with I is international, right? So international, international, okay, national, and then E is energy, international energy. And then the C is conservation, 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 and C, code. Or in short, you can call it energy code. But depending on the location, you have to use different years. For example, IECC has different years or amendments. For example, you might have IECC 2009, right? You might have 2012 mostly every three years 2015 okay and 2018 and 2021 right so if you have the location especially in the u.s and if if you are outside of the u.s you can take this as a references the practices that we use for energy conservation code. So this also could be helpful, but depending on the location, some places use the 2015 or some other places use the 2018. For example, Virginia uses 2018 or Washington DC uses 2015 as of, I'm gonna put in here today as a disclaimer, today, is um you know june but june is 2023 because this is going to change if the, if you're looking at this video in 2024 th there might be some changes right so as of now you have to comply with iecc 2015 so in other words if you have a project and we're talking about residential not commercial because for commercial we have com check and you have the same code okay but different uh, section, right? So if we're talking about a house, see? In the house, you have to comply with codes, yeah? All the codes. And you can look it up. We're, we're gonna put a look up applicable codes, applicable codes, applicable codes in up codes, see? As I explained in the other video, right? So you're going to have International Mechanical Code, you're going to have IECC Code, yeah, you're going to have the IPC, which is the Plumbing Code, Fire Protection, and blah, 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 right? So in this case, since we're talking about the IECC Code, what does the code say about complying for residential purposes? So for residential, we're going to go back to green. So... So for residential, if you look up depending on the location, this is the code that you have to comply right here. So R402.1.5 indicates 
An alternative to comply with code is the total UA alternative. So in other words, REST check, see, REST check mainly has two ways, two paths. So what I'm going to put in here is a uh, REST check. Now we're going to talk about REST check. See, REST check, REST check. Okay, now we're going to go back on that one. So see, REST check. So this is residential check. See, REST check has, okay, REST check in here. REST check has two versions. We're going to have to, the web version or the desktop version, desktop, all right? And RedCheck comes from the Department of Energy. Department, see, Department of Energy, of Energy, okay? So the Department of Energy provided this software and you can download it by desktop or you can use the web version. So it's better to use the web version because um, eventually everything is going to go to web version. But uh, you can you also have the uh, option to use the desktop version and you can download it from this website. Yeah, I'm going to provide the website in the description below. But the REST check web and desktop is trying to comply with... Th there's two options. You have the prescriptive way to comply with code. I'm going to put in here prescriptive, 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 scriptive. And then we have the performance, performance method, performance, okay? But this might be very interesting. What is prescriptive? Actually, prescriptive is just a table. And which table is prescriptive? So in other words, if you want to comply with code, you have to comply with the table. But it's a little bit fancier to say prescriptive. So which table are we talking about? We're talking about this table. Actually, there is a table in here that says table R402.1 uh, and 0.2. Okay, so that table indicates the minimum insulation values for the envelope for the house. Okay, so if we want to do that and we want to comply with that, see, we have that uh, that section, prescriptive, the prescriptive path. So REST check actually has two options. So prescriptive path is only talking about the table and the performance is going to include the equipment, includes the equipment, for example, the HVAC equipment efficiency and everything. Okay. All right. So now let's check on the code. The code says in here, okay, right here, the total UA alter uh, alternative. So REST check actually relies on this UA value, okay? So what is the UA value? The UA value is actually the multiplication of U, which, what is U? Is the U factor, okay, U factor. W the units of the U factor, as we remember very well, is BTUs, okay, divided by HR, our square feet, and Fahrenheit degrees, right? And what is A? A is the gross area right here. Gross area. Gross area. Gross area. Fahrenheit. Square feet. All right. That's the UA. Okay. U factor oh, and gross area. So this UA is going to be for the whole building. Okay. For the building or assembly or house. Let's put building as a general term. And red check what it does is another UA for the, see, that complies with code. Complies with code. So in other words, what red check does is it compares the UA of the building. And this has to be at least in order to comply with... Um, with the energy compliance code, it has to be compared with the whole assembly, right? So in other words, to make it simple, UA of your building has to be less than the UA that complies with code. There you go. And what is UA actually? Okay, UA is, so what we said is the multiplication of the U factor 
and gross area, but this is actually the thermal transmittance. Transmittance. All right, so I don't want to make this very complicated because I, I, I've been putting a lot of terminology, a lot of, uh, you know, codes. So overall, I, I want to summarize this very quickly. So REST check, we have REST check. This is a program. You have two, two, two ways to do that. So you have the web and you have the desktop version. So the, desk, the desktop version is going to follow either the prescriptive or the performance method, okay? So usually what we do is to follow the prescriptive, which is a table. Which table? The code says this table, which mainly is the insulation values, okay? So in there, what we're gonna be doing is, this is gonna be com comparing the UA values, which is U factor and gross area. And then that UA has to be below the UA code value that the program already gives you that is compliant with code, okay? So what are gonna be these UA values? That's gonna be for the wall, for the windows, and also for the doors and the ceiling, right? Pretty much the envelope ceiling, all right? Um, in, other, in, in the next videos, we're gonna be showing an example and we're gonna be showing how to download this. Also, we're gonna be checking on why, how it's the website for rest check. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did hit the like button and su subscribe. All right. Thanks so much. I'll see you in the next video.